Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So this is going to be part one of making this cute little cactus tutorial. It's not an animation, it's just a still render, but it's a pretty cool thing and I'm really excited to kind of show you guys how to do it. So in part one we're just going to be doing the modeling and in part two we'll add the materials, the lights, the backdrop and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool thing. And I also just want to mention if you guys want to sign up for Skillshare for free for one month, you can follow my link in the description below. And you can decide during that time if you want to continue with it or not, but it's completely free and you can check out some of my courses that I do on Skillshare. They, they're really cool because they include all of the stages, the blend files, and they're step by step and just it's a lot of fun. So if you want to check that out in the description below on Skillshare, it helps me out a lot. And as always, these blend files here will be available on my Patreon, which you guys can also check out. Um, so let's get started with part one. Go ahead and hop into Blender. I'm going to be using Blender 3.0. And we're just going to select all of the default objects. So we're going to hit X and just click Delete. We're then going to go Shift A. And under our mesh primitives, we're just going to go down. Let's just add in a circle. Now, by default, if you go over here to your Add Circle Settings down here and you click on it, you can see here we have 32 verts. So for us, we're just going to take that down to 12. We don't need that many to get started with. It's generally a good idea to work more lower poly, and then you can add a subdivision surface modifier. Um, just generally, that's the way I prefer to work. So let's just set that at 12 verts, and let's just close that. And let's just go over into edit mode. So we're just going to hit tab, or you can just come up here and click on that. So we're going to go into edit mode. And with all of these verts active, what we're going to do is we're going to go E to extrude and then hit Z. So Z will constrain it up on the Z axis. And we're going to bring it up about that much. Now I'm not going to be working with any exact measurements because this is really, you know, it's very rough and you can kind of like customize it a little bit. Just get it roughly this sort of look. And we're going to go G, Z if we have to, if you need to adjust. So in my front view, I can see it a bit better. So I'm going to maybe go up to about here. And then we're just going to go S and just scale it a little bit. We don't want to go too much, right? We're not trying to make a ball here, just a pot. So just a slight little scale. And then we're going to go E to extrude, S to scale. About that much. Just create a little bit of a lip. And then E to extrude. And then Z, once again, to constrain it to the Z axis. And let's just go up to about here and just click. Now what we can do is we can go Control R or Command R, depending on what you're using. And let's just hover over this edge here and you can see a yellow line appearing that is our loop cut tool so we're just going to go here until we see one cut and we're going to click and if you move your mouse you can slide it but there's no need to so just right click to let go and then go s and scale it out a bit just a little bit of a bulge makes it look a little bit more rounded out a little bit more cute we're then going to come in here control r click and just move up Control R over here again to see the yellow line. Click and drag it down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go Shift Alt and then click on the bottom edge here to loop select it. S to scale it just a little bit and then E to extrude S to scale. G Z and move it up a bit and then E to extrude S to scale again. And then we're just going to hit F to fill that. So now we have that. Come over here, Control R. Not a cut. Click move it down to about there. And we're going to do the same thing here. Control R over here, click, drag it down. Control R, click and move your mouse, move it up. And now let's just quickly test it out. Let's go to our modifiers and let's go subdivision surface modifier. And you can see it should look nice and tight around here because we've added in those edge loops. It's now not bending or deforming it too much with the subdivision surface modifier. So for example, if I took away that edge by dissolving it, you can see that's too rounded out. So we need those little edge slides in there just to make it have that bit of extra definition. So let's continue. So we're gonna go Shift Alt and click on the top edge here. And at this point, we're just gonna go E to extrude S to scale in about this much. And we want this pot to look quite thick for its scale because it's being a little bit more cartoony. So in about that much of the scale and then E to extrude and then Z to restrain it to the Z axis. Just a little bit and then E to extrude Z again to bring it down and just S to scale it a bit. So just something like that. That's our pot for now. So it's looking pretty good. So we're just gonna tab out and then we're gonna right click and we're just gonna go shade smooth. So now we have some nice smooth shading in our viewport. And you can come here to your levels in the viewport. You can bump that up to two. 
So that's going to be the viewport display and you can increase the render if you want as well. I feel like just leaving them both at two is, is pretty much fine. So now we have our pot done. Now in our pot, we're actually going to also make a bit of soil, but the soil is really simple. We can just reuse the same thing. We don't have to add in another primitive. So if you want to, in edit mode, uh, you can just go shift alt and just click on an edge over here. Shift D to duplicate it and then just G, Z and move it down. Let's just move it down just a bit and then go E to extrude and S to scale. And that's our dirt pretty much. Just scale it in like that and then G, Z, just move that up. You can pretty much just leave it at that for dirt. So I'm just going to come in here, Control R, just click and right click and then S just to scale or maybe Alt S. So if you go Alt S, with that edge selected, it'll scale it out along the normals. So that's pretty much our dirt. And don't worry about the little hole at the top because we're going to be covering the, that with the cactus later on as well. So that is a simple little pot. Let's add in the cactus. Now the cactus is actually a lot easier than you might think to model. So let's just start by going Shift A and let's go over to our UV sphere. And we're just actually going to leave it as it is. We're going to go G, Z and just move it up till it's sitting about there. All right, so if you go into your front view by hitting one on your number pad and you hit Z, go into wireframe, you should see something like this. We want to place just about there. Then we're going to tap into edit mode and just select a few verts at the top, just like that in your wireframe. Then you're going to come over here and click on your proportional editing. And now if you go G and then go Z, you can actually move it up and you can also roll your middle mouse button while you're doing that, just to control the fall off. So we're gonna move it up to about here. And then we're gonna go G, Z again, but we're gonna roll our middle mouse button till it is a little bit less of a fall off, to bring it just a little bit up. And then we're gonna go S to scale, and we're just gonna scale. And I'm rolling my middle mouse button to control that fall off as I'm doing that. So I just wanna make the top bulb out just a little bit more, like that. And at the moment it's looking not like a cactus because we have it too round, but if we go over here and we click on our edge select, deselect, in fact, we don't need to deselect the proportional editing. So what we're gonna do is we have our edge select active, we're gonna go shift alt, and we're just gonna click on a random edge to loop select it. And then we're just gonna move up a few, let's just say maybe here, here, it doesn't all have to be exact, it could be a little bit random, we're just trying to get roughly about the same. So I'm just going around and I'm just selecting all of these edges here, like that. And then I'm going to hit C. So hit C on your keyboard and then hold your middle mouse button. Just click on it and just click over here in the middle just to deselect those edges. Okay, so now what we've done is we've deselected these edges here. So now if we go Alt S and we have proportional editing still active, we can roll our middle mouse button to decrease the fall off. And I'm just moving my mouse and I'm just bringing that in like so. Now we have that cactus more defined. And let's just go over here, click on our vertex select, select the middle vertex, then go G, Z, and just bring that all the way down, like that. And now we can also just go into our wireframe again, in our front view, let's just select all of these bottom verts. And let's just go Control minus to, grow, to shrink the selection. And let's go to about that much. And then we're gonna go hit X, and just go Delete Faces. Shift Alt, and just click on an edge to loop select it. And then we're gonna go S, Z, and just flatten it a bit and then E to extrude and then Z and just bring that down. So now we have that cactus. We can hit A to select everything. G, Z, bring it down a little bit into the pot. Shift, Alt to click on any edge if you need to and just go S to scale it. And you can also use the proportional editing as it's still enabled to create a bit of a fall off there. So just shape it however you want. But I'm gonna go with this kind of shape here. It looks really cool. Tab out, right click and then go Shade Smooth, so we're now in object mode. And let's give that a subdivision surface modifier. So that is our cactus done. So now we're just gonna make some little eyes. So Shift A, go to your mesh, and let's just add in a UV sphere. Right click, and let's just go Shade Smooth. G to move it over, and let's just give that a mirror. Click on the eyedropper and then select the cactus. S to scale that, and then G to move it in to about here and then G, Y and move it forward. And there we have the eyes. So it's really coming together. So what we're gonna do is make a cute little pair of glasses. So we're gonna go Shift A, just add in a simple torus. 
And with the torus active, we're just going to tab into edit mode. And with all of the geometry active, just disable proportional editing. And let's go Alt S and just, just scale it in. Alt S, scale it in along the normals till it's a little bit skinnier. So maybe something like that. And then tab into object mode. Hit free on your number pad to go into your right orthographic view. G and move it forward. And then we're going to go R90, hit enter. Right click and then just go shade smooth. S to scale. And we're just placing it right in front of that eye. So now go into your front view again by hitting one on your number pad. G to move over here, S to scale. And now we can give this a mirror modifier and click on here, select the cactus as a reference object. And you can scale it however you want. So I'm gonna scale it maybe like this, move it out just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna tab into edit mode. And what I'm gonna do, Shift Alt, click on an edge here to loop select it. Shift D to duplicate that, right click to let go. In our front view, we're gonna go S, Y, 9, 0, and we're gonna hit enter. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and X, and we're just gonna move that in. Now, we need to enable clipping over here in our mirror modifier. So if we go G, X, and we move it, it should clip together. And then we're gonna come here to the end, Shift Alt, click on this to loop select it, that edge. Shift D, R, Y, 9, 0, and hit enter. And then we're going to go E to extrude, and then X to restrain it to the X. And then we're going to bring it out about this much. Then go to your top view by hitting 7 on your number pad. And then we're just going to go E to extrude, R to rotate. And yes, you could use the spin tool, but I'm just going to not use the spin tool. So I'm going to go Shift, Alt, click on this edge, R to rotate a bit, and Control B just to create a bevel. And if you're getting that sort of weird, um, this sort of weird thing happening with the normals. Just hit A to select everything and then go Alt N and just go recalculate outside. Shift Alt, click on that again to loop select it. And now if you go Control B, you should have that resolved. So just create a bevel, roll your middle mouse button a few times and there we have it. So now we're just gonna select this edge again and then E to extrude and we're just moving it down, rotating it and just moving it along the cactus to about there something like that, and then go to your right orthographic view, E to extrude, R to rotate, E to extrude, R to rotate, S to scale a bit, and then hit F to fill it, Control B to bevel, and there we have it. So now we can also give this a subdivision surface modifier, and that's it. So let's go into object mode again, right click, and let's just go shade smooth. So now we have a simple cartoony pair of glasses, and at the moment, it's not really touching the cactus, so you can just go into edit mode and select these verts over here. G, Y, or X, G, X, and move them in a bit closer. But you gotta keep in mind, we're also gonna be adding in a particle system later, so that's gonna puff out a little bit more, and you won't see that lack of contact there between the glasses and the side of the cactus. So I'm just gonna come over here as well. Control R, just add in another loop and just slide it. And there we have the glasses. So we have the glasses done, and we have the eyes kind of done. We have the cactus and the pot done. So I think that's actually all of the modeling done for now. So what we're gonna do in part two is we're gonna set up a little bit of a stage for him and a camera, and we'll add in a few lights. And then we're gonna hop into cycles, and we're gonna add in a few materials here. And you know we're gonna make it look all nice and then do a final render. So that's gonna be in part two.